Hi girls! I am here today to do sort of like a haul, but what I'm doing is basing it on the Mero, Mario Dedevonsky, however you say that. Um, he's by Makeup by Mario on Instagram as well as on YouTube. And he is mostly known, known for doing Kim Kardashian's makeup. And um, so he gave us a kit, mine is the platinum kit, so I got like everything that he had, um, I, I got like the most stuff basically, me and the group that were um, the platinums. And um, I'm going to do I think another separate video on the makeup that I was taught and just him and Kim themselves and the, the experience was amazing like beyond words. I've been to a lot of classes, like a lot of makeup classes, and I've been taught by a lot of um, celebrity makeup artists, like ones that are considered that you, like I've, when I met them, I was like, oh my god, and this was probably the best experience I've ever had so far. <laughs> Who knows, like what else is possible in the future, but um, so far this is like, there's one other makeup artist that I absolutely loved in Vancouver that taught me makeup um, or taught me like artistry with making makeup last forever and making it look like natural. So he like he's also and he's a Mac Pro artist. He does Golden Globe makeup. Um, that one was really cool. But this is like by far probably my favorite. And I ended up oh my god, I ended up sitting next to um, like Anastasia Beverly Hills, her daughter Norvina and um, Ashley Tisdale and Ma Mario's mom and there's another girl there I'm trying to think of what her name is um, Long Island Medium like all those I got to sit like right next to her and it was so cool like well actually I'm not gonna say it was really at the time I not gonna lie I really didn't care <laughs> I, did, I was like oh cool whatever I'm just not I'm not one of those people that gets like starstruck the only person I was probably like starstruck by would have been like probably Kim and Mario because I personally love their like I just love them um, okay, I will get started because it's like a two minute intro. I apologize, but I just wanted to kind of explain and when I do um, The makeup like if you guys are interested in that That might have to be broken up because there was so much to his class and so much to the like his techniques are just phenomenal like beyond anything I they're just amazing um, okay, so I'm going to start. One thing, I actually left the package downstairs. It's so stupid because I brought it all the way from LA specifically to show you guys. But um, now that I have it, I'm not, I'm not, I'm actually just going to throw it away. But Anastasia, what they did was they so they gave us a separate gift basket and this beautiful little um, thing. I might post it on Instagram. I don't know if it's, it, it was just like really pretty packaging basically. But inside of it, it was, um, I got a medium brown brow with skinny pencil this was something that he had used on the brows um again he actually used multiple things on the brows so each thing that he used there was actually about two probably two to four items used and majority of them are in the kit which is pretty cool and anything that wasn't i actually went and made sure to get um the next thing that i got was the anastasia clear brow gel which is something i absolutely love so it's perfect because i have another one and I also got the um, lip gloss in Orchid and Gilded. These are the colors here. I actually went online and I actually ordered my first, my first actual order from them. Here's another one and it is in the color Venom. And I'm not, I'm going to take out one of them just to kind of show you, but I'm not going to take out each of them because they literally are like the colors that are on the end just to save some time. Um, and the lip glosses are all also super pigmented, so I will be, I'll share one of those. So they, yeah, they're very, very opaque, 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 opaque. So that was part of um, it. And then I also got the contour kit. I already have one open, so I will actually just show you the one I have so that I don't have to open this one. This is the contour kit that we received. Again, he used part he used part of this as well. Um, and oh my God, even that, like I have so much to, I wanna share with you, even just about the contour, how we, 
as makeup artists, like, or people that are interested in learning, like, you, you just hear it's, like, crazy insane, and it's actually, when Kim came on stage, Kim, I got to actually sit, like, right up front, so it was really cool, you got, I got to see, like, she was really in close proximity, plus I got to, like, stand right next to her and talk, like, she's, she's really, her face, she is, it looks like she's so structured already, like, they do not do as much contouring as the media and that, like, to portray, um, and people like to portray like they're like, oh, she uses this and this. It's actually not all that. <laughs> um, I also got the brow brow palette. That is another thing I got. And then um, I got the Marc Jacobs black eyeliner. And I'm actually excited to use this because I've never used any of his eyeliners before, like the actual actual eyeliners. Um, and I also got some Sigma brushes. I got the Sigma um, F64 Soft Blend Concealer. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this one because I actually have another brush like this that I'm obsessed with. And the F86 and... 3D HD Precision. So I have all of these actually, except this one I believe. This is the only one I don't have, so bonus, I'll have doubles. <laughs> and I'm just gonna lift up the bag because it's, so I'm not, this is the other, oops. This is the bag that I got. Remember, it has traveled. It's been from LA here to here. I've also got the Arthur George socks, which are Rob Kardashian's line. And I got the What's App or What's Up. And the, another cool thing about, um, that was by Benefit, by the way, just really pretty highlighter. Um, one of the things that I was actually really also grateful for is he took so many questions. So we talked, we got to hear like what was the, his favorite products with things, how to do this, how to do this, like everyone. And there was really, okay, I'm going to be honest. There was really brilliant people there and there were really, I don't want to sound mean, but like there were really dumb people there. Like, I don't mean dumb, like in a mean way, which how else do you mean it? But just asking, like talking about their personal life, like about where they're coming from and like, oh, I've never been to somewhere and I'm just so like, it was just so, I, you could tell that they were annoyed, but they were really professional about it. And they were kind of like, can we get back to it? And they actually stopped questions for a bit just because of some of the stupid stuff because I'm not kidding like it was some of the questions were so stupid like it had nothing to do with it and that that was that's the part that I think kind of ruined part of the thing it was actually a lot of people were like are you serious like more rolling their eyes with things but on the other side Mario would try like bring it back and so we got to talk to him and Kim about any questions at all that we had and um that part was really cool um, so we got, so we got to ask, like, if anything, if it didn't pertain to this, like, or the look that we were doing, we got to ask questions, more questions on how to deal with different things. Um, and then the other thing I got, there was also a separate Mac bag, which is also really pretty, but I, and I brought it all the way back from LA and I left it downstairs. Um, this is the extra dimension, in extreme dimension 3D black lash from Mac. And I also got, I'm so excited about this because I know this is one of Kim's personal favorites, is the Tattoo, I don't know if I'm saying it right, if I am, I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. It's the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Um, also got that. That is supposed to smell amazing, but this one I have not used yet. I've been actually like recreating, playing with recreating a lot of his looks and a lot of his recommendations on like different things. Oh, I'm been, I've been having so much fun with makeup. That's one of the things that I'm so grateful for going there for is because it's like, it kind of rekindled my, not that my love for makeup stopped, but like the artistry part, like I kind of got in a little rut where I just got my day-to-day -day makeup and this just really like, oh my God. And um, I still always play with makeup, but I never always, I never always, I never I don't always like post photos of it. I actually do it a lot late at night with my daughters. Like we play, we mix different colors, mix different lipsticks, and that's always like a lot of fun, but I never wear them. Part of it, which is my own stupidity, is from 
because I get a lot of rude comments, like seriously rude. Some guy, I wore blue lipstick yesterday and some guy's like, no offense, but like, ew. I'm like, I want to say something. Part of me wants to say stuff. Like I don't wear makeup for you. This is like, I like makeup. It has nothing to do with you. This is simply for me. But I think guys think we, well, not all, but some stupid people like that think that we wear makeup to look good for them, which is clearly not the case. Or obviously I know guys don't like blue makeup like you know so anyways I kind of lost a little bit of that where I just didn't want to play as much and now I'm just I'm just that like I'm kind of like to the point where I'm like screw you I'm gonna do me <laughs> um okay sorry rant over back to this um I also got in there the beyond real sorry sorry my daughters were playing right outside the door so I had to their room is like right next to mine so that banging in that is them playing I apologize <laughs> um okay so I also got the Huda Beauty waterproof lash glue and the benefit their real mascara which is so cool this is because this is actually one of my favorite mascaras I love it because of the applicator, it's so good for getting underneath, like underneath your eyes. One that I'm also using right now, which I'll share, this isn't have to do with it, but this one is really good for getting really good underneath the eye. Nail polish is a fail. This is like, I tried this Essie stuff. Oh, look at that. That's like three coats. It is so streaky. Mm. And I just did it last night, chipping already today. So off topic, that was a fail. <laughs> Um, okay, I also got this uh, beauty blender and it comes with a solid underneath, which I'm grateful for, but I'm I'm glad because I didn't have to, well, I paid for it, but I didn't pay for it, if you know what I mean, um, because I actually returned my beauty blender. I just thought it was a total waste. It's great, but it's a weight. Like I could use um, baby soap, which I prefer the smell of the baby soap. Um, we, we get this special baby organic soap and it smells better. Um, you can get it in different scents. And it's not chemical. It's like $2 for that soap and it's like $20 for the Beauty Blender stuff. But obviously I'm going to use this up. It's just that price-wise I was thinking this one's actually better and it's like more cost-effective and it smells better, which I personally, I'm sold whenever it comes to smell. Um, again, those are, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. this is how you can tell I haven't done a video in a while. Um, so then there's this. I got this in there. I also got these, which this has become one of my favorites. You're going to see in my next um, video, I have a video that's going to be coming up for um, favorites. And I have a giveaway. I had some stuff. Um, so that's going to be coming up in one of my other videos. Uh, I also got a Giorgio Armani stick, and this is in number 12, the eye tint gold. This is really pretty, but I would love suggestions on how to use this. I tried it. I've tried it. I didn't just try it. I tried it. It's, unless it's like really good for an inner corner highlight, but let me know how you guys use this, if any of you guys use it. I did attempt it in the inner corner, not today, but it was, um, I just couldn't get it like amazing. Yeah. Unless it's just the color. Um, he also gave us the Beauty Blender. This is the Body Beauty Blender. This is a really big one. Um, and this actually comes in handy. Don't mind, I keep pulling my eye because my eyelash keeps getting, my eyelashes keep getting like caught together and I feel like I'm getting one in my eye. So I also got this. And he gave us a candle. Um, it's just thank you for attending the masterclass with Mario Dedevaniak and Kim Kardashian. And then MD. I also got a Hula bronzer, which, okay, I could never use this before, ever, 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 because it was too light for my skin. Now, the, with Mario's new techniques, I'm able to actually use so many more colors. Where I was before, I was super limited with the colors because of the color of my skin. But one of the things I've learned with him, or I guess I'll wait, that, I'll wait, but one of the things is, his technique, I can use almost any color. It does kind of lighten the center of my face, but you'll have to see it, I guess, in my like in my video because it's hard, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, but anyway, I'm so now I'm actually growing a fan of that, which so many people have talked about it, and I wasn't able to use it before. Uh, the next thing I got was the Beauty Blender Solid, another one of those, and the Peach Stock. 
lipstick by MAC, which another thing I'm super excited about, like, mind you, I, I think I have like probably 10 of these. I'm not, well, probably not 10, maybe five. Which is pretty cool because I actually fell back in love with it. I have, um, I like use them in the center of my lips quite a bit. So that one is an awesome one. And then I also got Coralista, which I didn't use it before, remember, because of my skin color and that. But now I, with the new technique, I think I'm going to be able to. It's just kind of like a corally color. And oh, one other thing is I got certificate of completion. Just saying that I attended the class and that it was like him and Kim, um, Mario. That's it. <laughs> Tells where it is. And I got a Circa Beauty color in La Spezia number two. I'll show you the back. I haven't opened this one yet. And Kim Kardashian, or not Kim Kardashian, Kardashian Sunkiss builds natural looking color with each application and it's supposed to firm and tighten and condition the skin. It's a gradual tanner. The smell is actually really good, but I haven't, this is one I haven't used yet. It kind of smells more of, um, kind of like a light perfume, but not, not like suntanny. I also got Kardashian Black, Kardashian Beauty Black Seed Oil Dry Oil. This is something I'm actually really excited about this one because I have been looking into black seed oil and it's supposed to be like one of the healthiest oils for your hair. So and I haven't been able to find any in products yet. So this is, I'm really excited to try this one. The next thing I got was a Charlotte Tilbury eye color in dark pearl it's for brown eyes I wore this yesterday it's actually and it's my first Charlotte Tilbury products I'm so excited about that we couldn't get Charlotte Tilbury here they're now I heard we just got them now at Holt Renfrew but I haven't personally been there yet <coughs> excuse me because I don't know if they're in my my city yet I also got the beauty blender the Blotterazzi beauty blender that's it there and I got the tattoo tattoo however you say that again one step um, cam camellia cleansing oil this one smelled really nice I used this in LA because I actually forgot my cleanser and so this was <clears throat> this was the one I used and I also got the Erno Las Laszlo day serum this I have not tried uh, again it's a it's just a big big serum and I got a whole bunch of face masks and I'm pumped about these because I actually wanted to try a few of them these are the Karuna ones they're just a whole bunch of different um, face masks like brightening and renewing eye mask or renewing mask and then this one has like a double thing in it so Hydrating again and face mask. Um, yeah, so there's these. And I also got like a timeless ritual for ageless skin. Another Earl Laszlo one. And I got Huda Beauty lashes. And I'm just trying to find in there's they're the Samantha. Those ones look really cool. I think Tara Lynn would actually like something like this. These are her kind of. <laughs> it's funny. Last time I went to LA with um, Tara Lynn, we were at this counter and she <laughs> saw these lashes she liked. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just funny because when she when me and her are shopping, we're like, oh my god, you you gotta try this, you gotta try this. And she's like, oh you these lashes are so pretty. She just like starts putting them in my cart. <laughs> it was just funny. <laughs> it was cute. And she's right, I ended up loving them, but it was so cute. She's just like, you gotta get these. <laughs> and then I got the Kardashian Glow Natural Bronzer. And I got the tattoo tattoo 
these oh my god I've been loving these I have one right now I don't know if they come in different different kinds but I have some it ended up I got it from one of my boxes I don't even know which box was sent to me like one of those like Lux boxes or um and these are so good like for taking off your makeup without taking or taking off the oil without taking off your makeup this new way of doing makeup though now that Mario taught I might not need as much oil like this is it, like it's 9 40 at night right now and I did my makeup at about two like one or two so it's been that long without having to blot or anything which is insane for me that is insane 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 <laughs> so especially with the foundation I actually use the foundation the um Bobbi Brown foundation and I would normally the the stick foundation because I was trying to use something as similar to the product that he used however I I ordered that product so I have to wait for it to come in but this is insane for my makeup to last this long without oil usually I'm like an hour after using it and I'm having to blot because I get so oily so quick which is good because your skin usually stays like luscious longer um, the next thing I got was the L'Oreal True Match Lumi uh, Liquid Glow Illuminator Prime Highlighter. I'm just trying to, neutral undertone and I don't know the name of this one, but I'll put it up close. Maybe you guys, oh, it says on the bottom <laughs> N201 Rose. So there's that. And I also got another Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar on the go. I'm going to go pick up some more Charlotte Tilbury once I find out. This is the color of the packaging is so gorgeous. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And I got a Circa lip liner in toffee. This is the color here. I haven't used this. I don't even know actually where to get this as well. If you guys know, please let me know. That would be cool. Okay, so that is all for that. But I'm going to show a couple other things that I ended up picking up there. Oh, actually, no, sorry, that's not all. I also got this MAC liquid liner. I'm, I'm trying to keep, I, have, I put some of the stuff along my table already because I started using some of it. And the MAC liquid eyeliner in Boot was one of them. Oh, and I actually just remembered another one. There was a Marc Jacobs. Okay, and I'm going to add, I'm going to start showing you some of the stuff that I picked up after. I've ordered some and I haven't received it yet um, just to get the look that he was talking about and some of the products that he highly recommends um, which I do not have yet I did order them so I'm just waiting for them all to come in so one of the products is three shakes that he used this is it here and this is so all that previous stuff was masterclass stuff that was given and this is stuff I picked up literally right after like I walked there and <laughs> I walked to the nearest Sephora and picked it up the next thing I got was honey which is funny actually I when I was with Tara Lynn she this is one of the things she swatched on me she was like you should try this and I, I bought it and then I got home and it was actually the wrong one it was like a really dark color so I ended up returning it this here was one that he used on the inner corner Again, that was a Marc Jacobs, and I also went and picked up the Makeup for Makeup Forever in number two, the Lift Concealer. I tried picking this up there, but they actually stopped selling it on in the Sephora they had there, but they still do carry it, and we still had it in Edmonton. So I also picked up that, and I picked up the Scorch eyeliner, which has quickly become a favorite of mine and I've been I've been wearing this every day since I got it like I I went there right after went and tried it on and I love this this is an inner waterline color and it's one that he talked about wearing on her all the time because it's not as white like he'll he'll do white if he's doing like a specific liner look not white white but a different one again I'll I'll get to that one next when I get it in but this is one that he talked about that day and this is like, this is so pretty. It's almost like a smoky eye, gives a smoky eye, but not really a smoky eye, but it's still kind of exotic and it still brightens the eyes. And I find for brown eyes, it really enhances your eyes. So this is another thing I picked up, which I'm super excited about. And he also used um, Studio Fix number NC25. He suggested for 
darker skin colors like Kim's but as a brightener for underneath your eye and this is just a studio fix powder which you would think it would be insane on me but I've been using it underneath to brighten and with the technique that he used this was one of the last things he used so I ran to the MAC counter obviously right away and had to pick it up these are not related to that but I wanted to pick them up because I have um, heard so much about them this is the world lipstick I picked this up actually when I came back to Edmonton because they were sold out of it there. I tried this on and it's pretty but I looked really I don't know about that one. I'm kill, still kind of iffy on that. <laughs> I also picked up this um, Matte Royal. This is the one the guy this is the funny thing. I haven't talked to this guy since high school. We went to high school together and we were friends and that and you we've been friends on Facebook for probably like like seven eight years or whatever. And the first thing he ever comments on after seeing like numerous things like, oh, you've changed with this or, oh, you've had new children or no congratulations or nothing. It's like, that looks stu looks stupid kind of like, that's your first thing. Like, really? I just, I don't know. People are kind of, that's where I talk about stupid people. I don't know where they get like the nerve. <laughs> this is a lipstick I was wearing though. It's called Matte Royal and I think it's pretty and you rock it. <laughs> Um, that was one I picked up in Edmonton when I got home. And I also picked up this Pore Professional because this is another thing that he talked about using. He has a technique with this with some other stuff. So I picked this up. And that was by The Benefit. And I also picked up MAC, this MAC thing. You could tell I've been like playing with it. Um, it is really good with like using this for makeup, like when you're applying makeup like he used it like this and then if, if you're working on someone else as like a protector when you're doing eyeliner and that it's really cool for your client just so you don't like wreck the makeup that you just put on and then I got peach oh I already got peach stock I already showed you that oh here it is I also got the bobby brown in yellow I will be going back for more in other colors I just thought with, um, I would wait. I wasn't sure how much stuff I could fit back in my suitcase on my way back to Canada. And I have like limits. So I was, um, I only picked up this one, which I'm going to pick up some more. Um, so that I believe is it. I'm trying to see the rest of it. And I think that's all. Oh, um, that I grabbed already. Okay. That's all I have on those things. And if you guys want to learn more, like let me know if you guys want to like see me do the makeup look or do you want me, because if I do the makeup look, I'm going to have to fast forward it. Or if you want me to talk about it while I do what I learned, just because there is, like I said, he has a technique to absolutely everything. It literally was like four hours of just doing makeup, like just doing makeup. <laughs> So it takes a while. I've been trying to like master it and do some of this, like just learn the techniques down. Each one of them that he talked about and they're so brilliant and everywhere I go, oh my God, I've been getting the most compliments I think I've ever gotten. <laughs> I'm getting them now and I'm like, I'm so grateful because it just like, it really makes your features stand out, which I, I think is really cool. So let me know how you guys want the video. Like, do you want me to just do a quick video where I could just like do a do it and show you and kind of fast forward um so I, I don't know if I'll be like talking through that one or play music or I could do a just like a maybe face one face and lips and then one of like the eyes and eyebrows or something um yeah so that is my video I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will be back to share the rest I hope you guys have a great day bye Yeah.